The mirror tool can be used to mirror elements about a horizontal line, a vertical line, an inclined line, or the element center. The mirror tool can be found on the Home Ribbon tab in the Manipulate group. In this lesson you will learn Mirror Tools and several of its options. Continuing in Learning.DGN, open the Mirror Elements model. We are going to mirror the elements on the right side according to the examples on the left side, starting with the orange elements. To mirror the orange triangle at the top, select the Mirror tool and set the following. Mirror Direction, Vertical. About Element Center, Disabled. Make Copy, Enabled. With the Mirror tool active, drag a selection rectangle to select the three lines that form the triangle, but not the arc, and accept the selection. To define the location of the vertical mirror line, snap to the midpoint on the arc. Reset to complete. Next we'll do the two moves to make the green shape and replicate it both vertically and horizontally with a 6 inch spacing between each shape. To mirror the green shape, start with the same tool settings and select the green shape by snapping to its lower right corner. This brings up the AccuDraw compass. Move the cursor to the right and press Enter to lock the cursor on the axis. Key in the distance to the mirror line, which is 3 and not 6, and enter a data point to accept. Reset to stop mirroring. To copy and mirror both shapes horizontally, set mirror direction to horizontal. Drag a selection rectangle to select both shapes and accept the selection by snapping to the corner point we used previously. The AccuDraw compass appears again. Move the cursor downwards and click on the tick that appears on the axis. This indicates the last used distance of 3. Reset to complete. To mirror the yellow shape about the oblique line, set mirror direction to line. Select the shape with a data point, then snap to two points on the red line to define the location and direction of the mirror line. That completes this series of exercises. In this lesson, you learned Mirror Tool and several of its options. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.